Hi guys, so I wanted to cover something today that kind of crossed my mind and really I think I want to explain this correctly. I may get asked the question from time to time in dating, why are you still single? And I actually think that God has done me a favor by making sure that I'm learning a lot and um, before he presents my husband to me. Now, whether or not I've met my husband already and we just haven't clicked or whether or not um, maybe, I don't know, I ran into him already, I have no idea. But I wanted to cover one thing about that. And to answer the question, I really think the answer, for me at least, is to say, I haven't met the person that is willing to continuously do the work to make the relationship work. Now, let me tell you who I have met. I've met the guy that says, this is uncomfortable, it doesn't make me happy anymore, I'm no longer farting rainbows, and I'm out. And he's left. I've met the guy who said, I'm not going anywhere, I'm going to be here, I'm coming back again and again. But he never did the work to make the relationship better. So he never left, but he was only there doing what he had already done. And only there are offering if not less than what he was already offering which was not enough to take the relationship to the next step so it was great that he didn't want to necessarily leave but he wasn't um staying doing anything for the benefit of the relationship who i haven't met yet and this goes to another video that i have about um the missing mindset i have yet to meet the guy the man, the king, that is willing to say, this is where we are, and we're going to go forward. And when we hit that place where something's wrong, I'm going to do what I need to do, as well as you, because I would think that they would expect the same thing from me. And I've done this before, but I hadn't met, it hadn't been reciprocated. I'm going to do what I need to do to change my actions so we can move forward and get past a rough time. I'm going to do something different so we're no longer doing insanity. I'm not leaving. And I'm going to do differently some things. I'm going to add some things. I'm going to subtract some things. I'm going to remix some things. So that we are putting the actions together to fix the problem to move forward. I'll give me an example. I've had a couple of roommates over the course of some years. One particular one, a homegirl, Kathy. Uh, cool as a fan and she walked in the kitchen one day and the cabinet banged her right the edge of the cabinet right in the middle of her forehead and she fucked and cussed and, and I felt so bad it was red it was deep and I know it had to hurt I leave the cabinets open now about two weeks later in my mind I made a conscious effort to try to close the cabinet two weeks later she walked in the kitchen she said really <laughs> I love an honest chick. I left the cabinets open again. What I realized is that I needed to do something. Doing is an action, not just guess that, not just say I'm going to do something. I had to do something to change me because she was worth not harming anymore. Whether that be emotionally, physically, financially, romantic, whatever. In your relationship, and this is just my homegirl. Be clear, she's happily married to a guy now. No offense to my, my ladies that like the ladies but um she I started I'm sorry I started putting up post-it notes because I said I have to do something I have to do an action to change me and the habit that I have that has caused her pain I have yet to meet the man that brings that mindset to the relationship and that is why I believe I am still single. I believe, and I could be wrong because once I get it maybe there's something else God reveals that I need but I believe that is the one element that I have yet to meet in a man where I said, okay, this is going to be my husband. Or I would be okay if he decided to be my husband. Have yet to meet him. So for me, you know, this is kind of a spinoff video from the video that I did before, which is called The Missing Mindset. But this is really, at least for me, the reason why I'm still single. I have yet to meet that person who... When we hit a hard time or we hit something that's not working, they do the actions to change the bad in the relationship. A lot of them like to say, well, you're crazy. 
and blame it on a woman. A lot of them like to say, um, my camera's acting crazy, I want to make sure it's recording right. A lot of them like to say it's someone else's fault that maybe they don't need to do any changing. And, and sometimes it is as simple as that person's not going to change. They are how they are, and you got to accept whether you're going to stay or not. And then it's the person that does love you enough to decide to change for you. For me, my homegirl was worth, you know, making sure that I did something to make sure she was never injured again. And once I tried on my own, yeah, I'm going to try to close the cabinet. I'm going to try, you know, I'm going to close the cabinet. Yeah, I'm old. sorry I hurt you. I apologize. I'm going to close the cabinet. Once I saw that I had not done that with my particular effort, I had to up the ante and try harder to make sure that I put in the work to change me so that I no longer harm that person. That we continue to step forward. Sometimes post-it notes will save a relationship. Put the tissue, replace the tissue roll and make sure it's over, not under. That might save a relationship. Now what a killer relationship is if you still don't do it my pet peeve personally but um anyway that's just it I, I for me that's one of the reasons um and hopefully I could just send this YouTube video to somebody next time they ask me but hope this helps hope it makes sense I hope that it really really is is shared for couples going through a rough time because sometimes somebody say well yeah we talked about it but then no actions ever change yeah you know we we said we wouldn't do it but nothing ever changes and I saw uh, a great meme and I thought it was beautiful and it simply said sometimes the best apology is changed actions gotta love it y'all take care